Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we've been talking about where exactly the model context protocol servers are used during the software development and in software testing. We know that we have been talking about this model context protocol from Anthropic when they released last year on November. And a lot of people were starting to create their own MCP servers like me who created this Playwright MCP server as well as the database MCP server as you can see over here. We try to use this model context protocol servers to configure it with the cloud desktop and then we use it. So we just go to the cloud desktop over here uh, and then we see this knob. You can see that we have got all of these, um, these connectors. And then if you just go to the cloud desktop over here and then if you go to the settings, to the developers, you can see that we can able to go and edit the configurations of the cloud desktop to create our own, uh, to configure our own MCP servers. And the same thing goes to the, uh, to the IDEs like Cursor IDE or Visual Studio Code or WinSurf or Kiro, whatever ID that you take, all these IDEs will also be configuring the Playwright MCP servers. And if you go and click this Browns MCP server over here, you'll also see there are a list of MCP servers for the agent mode, uh, like a portal over here. You can see that you can go ahead and install the MCP server, for instance, the GitHub uh, MCP server. If you go and install that, it is going to go and install this particular MCP server for you in the Visual Studio code. So we have seen how we can use this model context protocol server for doing an operation on behalf of the large language model, which can't really access your machine. But now using this MCP server, it's gonna act on your machine and you're gonna do all these operations. We have discussed about this many times. But now we're gonna see how exactly companies are now leveraging the power of model context protocol to be used uh, in a real world scenarios, so not just about the the, the, the plugins which is available for the uh, the extensions for the IDEs like how it is done at the moment but now they are going a level further to use it with the docker and also using it with the CI CD pipeline I have been getting this question from a student asking Karthik how can I use this MCP server along with the CI CD pipeline or how do, can I run this MCP server the CI CD pipeline guess what Microsoft has released their own Playwright MCP server, which is this one, as you know, because we have got our own MCP server as well in Azure Automation uh, GitHub repository. You can see that it has got 4,600 stars and there are so many contributors going on. But this particular repository is my own repository and it's done by my own interest. But Microsoft has got their own GitHub repository and they have got their own uh, own tool over here as you can see and this tool has got 18,200 stars of course it's Microsoft right so there is a lot of contribution going on and they have got a lot of features and this feature is something which is baked in in the new GitHub Copilot's coding agent so you can use the Playwright MCP server and the GitHub MCP server by default in the GitHub coding agent so if you have used GitHub Copilot coding agent, you know what I'm talking about. So just go and search for GitHub Copilot uh, coding agent over here. Uh, you can see that this particular coding agent is a new agent for the GitHub Copilot where you can actually uh, create your own like uh, you can create a pull request or you can assign a task uh, to the uh, copilot it is going to go and do things for you uh, in, the co in the GitHub environment automatically. And this is Another place where you can actually use the model context protocol. That is exactly what I'm going to show you today in this particular uh, video. Uh, so for instance, let's say this particular application that we have got over here, the employee app, uh, I wanted to really do sort of testing over here, right? Like let's say UI testing, I wanted to do it, uh, but with the playwright uh, as well as with the database testing for that matter, right? If I wanted to do this, I can use this Microsoft's a Playwright MCP server, or I can also use the MCP database server, which is built by us in Excel Automation. And also you can use your own custom MCP server if you wanted to. The way you can actually do that is you can go to your repository. For example, in my case, it is the employee app over here. And if I just gonna go to the settings gear symbol there and make sure that you have a licensed version of the GitHub Copilot, if not this particular feature is not gonna be enabled for you on your repository. So I already have got the access to the GitHub Copilot's um, coding agent as well as all of these feature. Thanks to GitHub, they gave me all these, these access for free and I'm just gonna use that with no cost, right? And you can see over here, we have got this Copilot option 
and there is this coding agent. And within this coding agent, you can see that I have configured the uh, database server, uh, which is like a custom MCP database server, which is this guy, the model context protocol database server that I have configured. I'm actually using that within my database testing operation. So assumingly, if I really want to get rid of this particular database MCP server, I can also do that. So I'm gonna just delete this. And if I try to save this, this is going to be like a new MCP, like this is not gonna be any custom MCP server that you are gonna configure over here. But let's say I'm just gonna leave this configuration as it is. And I know for sure that this database is not going to be available during my execution. So I'm just gonna leave this guy as it is over here. Uh, and I'm gonna save this configuration. Some something like this uh, and I'm gonna go to my uh, employee apps issue over here and then I'm gonna create a new issue and then while I trigger it it's gonna also trigger the MCP server for you and just to give you more context on the github copilot's coding agent so if I go to the settings and if I just go to the copilot's uh, coding agent it's currently in the preview stage as you can see over here if I just sc uh, scroll down you can see that the MCP is an open standard that defines how the application shares the context with the LLM and you can use this MCP to extend the capability of the copilot coding agent by connecting it to other tools and services and you can also see they have got this information so just go to this particular page and just learn how you can configure your own uh, mcp servers if it is available or deployed as an npm package you can then use that particular uh particular MCP server over here as well, uh, like how they have used for Notion and how they have used for Azure and how they have used for Cloudflare and things of that nature. So they have given some examples like how we can do that. So these are the ways that you can actually use the model contest protocol, not just as a plugin over here, but you can also use it in the CI CD pipeline, for example, the GitHub uh, Copilot over here, which is going to be uh, github copyright coding agent here which is going to be invoking the mcp servers for you and now now let's go to this particular issues over here and i'm going to go create a new issue for example i'm going to say uh, create a, a ui uh, test for the front end and i'm going to say uh, maybe run i'm going to probably say run the ui application uh, and uh, test the front end something like that right this is what i wanted to do uh, and i'm gonna just say run the ui uh, run ui application and test the front end and verify all the pages and take screenshots so this is what i really wanted to do let's say i'm gonna just create like an issue over here and i'm gonna create this particular issue pretty much like how you do while you create uh, an issue to an application uh, to an user or a developer that you're going to assign. And I'm going to assign this particular issue to Copilot this time, not to Exit Automation, which is me uh, over here. And the moment I do it, what's going to happen is the Copilot coding agent is going to kick in and you will notice that the Copilot coding agent is immediately going to start work. We have also discussed about this in our other videos as well. And you will notice that they, the, the GitHub Copilot's coding agent has triggered the execution and now you're going to see there is going to be a session coming up over here. And if I'm going to go to this session, you will notice that the Copilot coding agent is going to spin up the execution and pretty much like how it does with the GitHub Actions, just this, this one over here. So you can go and see there is a verbose log as well. So we're just going to go and see there is a view verbose log where you can see what's really happening behind the scene. Uh, but now you can see that during this execution, it is invoking the database MCP server for me over here. It has not invoked because the database is not there at the moment. That's the reason why this is not being invoked, which is the custom MCP server that I have configured in the uh, GitHub Copilot's coding agent, right? And then you can also see that the default coding, uh, the default MCP server is going to be invoked is the GitHub MCP server. And these are the tools being invoked along with it. And they also have invoked the Playwright MCP server of Microsoft. And these are all the tools which is going to be invoked for that as well. See, this is the place where the MCP servers are being invoked and being used in the CI CD pipeline while they are executing your test or applications. And you can see the exact same thing in the actions as well. So if you're just going to go to the actions and if you're going to click the, uh, the fix the issuing uh, option there, and if you go to the Copilot, you can see all of these operations just running as if like a 
uh, GitHub Actions for you. Uh, and if you're just gonna scroll up a bit, you see that there is a start MCP server, there's a prepare copilot, and then there's a start MCP server, just gonna start the MCP servers for you. Uh, and they also have got the processing the requests for the execution that it has to be done. And you can see all the verbose options uh, just gonna be coming up, like what exactly the GitHub Copilot coding agent is doing for your request that you have asked to uh, to perform this operation. So this is how actually the entire operation is gonna happen. And this is how the companies are now leveraging the power of the MCP servers to perform all these operations. So it's not just about using the MCP server with the cloud desktop, something like this, or using the MCP server with the GitHub Copilot in the Visual Studio Core or in the Cursor IDE or WinSurf or Warp, not just that alone, but you can also see that the companies are now banging uh, the usage of the MCP server along with the the pipeline as you can see over here and microsoft is also integrating the mcp servers everywhere and many companies are now working towards integrating the model contest protocol they also call this mcp server as an usb where you can actually use that as an uh, it's like a usb port where you can fuse any of the connectivity like any of the tools along with the uh, large language model uh, and you, all you have to do right now is just expose this protocol and then you can integrate with any of the applications and one of these examples are your ide and also with this um, CI CD, uh, which is happening over here. And you can also integrate this in even more further uh, operations. And I'm sure that companies are gonna come up with many different ways to do it. And hope you got the idea of how and where exactly this model context protocol is being used right now. Maybe in future, it's gonna be even more completely different, but at least today, this is how it's been used and hope you got the context. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.